bells, words of wisdom from Wisconsin. Fast talking, so misunderstood. Fast talking, you just ain't no good. It's ML with ML's Words of Wisdom from Wisconsin. And today's show is all about how to talk fast because let's face it, I have a lot to say. I have a lot to say. And they say an average woman speaks about 20,000 words per day. And I do a lot of talking for a lot of different women, I'll tell you that much. And so some people say, ML, how do you do it? Well, I do some special exercises. The first thing I do when I get up in the morning to get this motor mouth going, and I'm gonna share them with you, so stay tuned. Okay, now in order to maximize how many words you can say in a 24 hour period, there are certain tips and tricks that you can do um, during this time. Number one, you can talk in your sleep. That counts, that counts. So if you can talk in your sleep, you're getting your message across even if no one's listening. Number two, you can talk like just like walking around the house. You can express your thoughts if no one's around. That counts as talking, okay? Number three, you can talk while you eat. Now I've got some popcorn here. I'm totally off the keto, forget the keto, okay? So I learned this trick in my family. We all did this. We, let's say you put a whole bunch of popcorn in your mouth, and then all you do is you keep your hand in front of your mouth while you're chewing and talking at the same time. So you can still get your message across and eat some carbs. Oh. I'm so totally off the keto. Forget the keto. Okay, now one of the first things that I do when I get up in the morning is I do some tongue twisters. I just think the tongue twisters get everything loosened up and get your whole job all ready to like take on the day. Okay, here's one of my favorites. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Let's say you're a little bit erudite, scholarly, well-read. So why not do a little William Shakespeare as a tongue twister, like Hamlet? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to cast arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing and them, that'll get you going. Wait, now I have the hiccups. I got this a lot. Sometimes I like to have an accoutrement when I do my tongue twisters, like a handy bongo. So get your handy bongo ready and let's do the woodchuck one. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hey, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hey, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hey, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hey. You bit her dog, eh? No. That dog is a menace to the community. I'm taking him to the sheriff to make sure he's destroyed. Destroyed? Toto? Oh, you can't. You mustn't. Auntie M, Uncle Henry, do something. Oh, no. Now, another little trick of the trade is to have some tools in your toolkit. And one of them is an old-fashioned kazoo. And so I like to take a comb and some wax paper, and you put the wax paper between the, the comb and your mouth to keep it sanitary, and you just hum a little tune, like a uh, dueling banjo. <laughs> talk to anybody all day long about anything. I could talk all day long if I wanted to. Friends, Romans, countrymen, let me your ear. I could talk it off. I could talk your ear off. I'll talk your ear off in a second.